So, y'all ready for a little video? This little guy is the world's smallest mobile phone. And believe it or not, it works with both phone calls and, get this, it can also send text messages using a little something us old people remember as multi-tap on a nine number keypad. Yeah, it was a real thing and yeah, we actually used it. The phone is cute, but is it durable? Let's find out. This minuscule cellular device is from a company called Zanco, and as we know, any name that starts with Z is a good name. It's a little bit smaller than a AA battery, and it's about twice as long as the iPhone X's camera bump. It's kind of ridiculous how small this thing is. If you stick it in your pocket, you might forget it's even there, like a tube of chapstick going through the laundry. I've seen pieces of gum that are bigger than this phone. But like always, we're here to test things out and see if they work. Let's call my mom. and she sent me to voicemail. But she also sent me my first text message. It took me a second to figure out how to actually get to the texting menu since it's so small. But she said, I'll call you right back. Look at that, 2005 all over again. Well, we'll cross our fingers that she actually remembers and calls back because phones don't always survive all the way through my videos. Like always, we'll start with the scratch test. Normally we have a lot more screen real estate to work with, but it's okay. I can write as small as I need to on this phone for ants. For reference, plastic scratches at a level three, glass scratches at a six, and sapphire would be an eight or a nine. But judging by the marks we get at the level three and deeper grooves at a level four, this 0.4 inch screen is made from plastic. The buttons do speak to you, which is interesting. Two, 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 five, 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 nine, nine. Makes it nice that you can leave your magnifying glass at home when you're out and about. Nine. The buttons are made from plastic. Not a big deal since realistically, I don't think anyone's going to be texting novels on this thing. The sides are made from plastic. No volume buttons, but there is a rubber flap protecting the modern micro SIM card slot. I'm sure they would have also added a fingerprint scanner if the whole phone wasn't the size of a fingerprint. The bottom has a slightly outdated micro USB port. This is a lot like peeling a baby carrot, except for it's black instead of orange and probably doesn't taste very good. The top of the phone has no headphone jack, but I'll give it a pass since I'm pretty sure there is legitimately no room this time around. The phone is basically the size of a headphone jack as it is. There is a lanyard slot up at the top though, if you wanted to wear it as a necklace or earrings or something. My mom would be pretty mad if I got my ears pierced though, so I'll skip that one. Speaking of which, I got a texture back, so let's give this a try. Luckily, texting on a nine pad is kind of like riding a bike and you never really forget how. For the kids who aren't old enough to remember the good old days, let me explain how this worked. You press the key that contains the letter you want, and then keep pressing that same key until the letter you need cycles through. Then you can continue to the next letter and repeat the process. Yeah, it took me a minute and a half to write the words, call me, but times were simpler back in the day, and we were usually too busy to text people anyway, doing crazy things like going outside and stuff. Oh, hey, look, it's my mom. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Uh-huh. We are currently talking on the world's smallest cell phone. Oh, wow. It's not bad. Yeah. There's a speaker, there's a loudspeaker on the back, and then a couple little microphones, and it's a little bit smaller than my thumb. Uh, and so this is the only way it can sound? Yeah, there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no better way. How does it sound on your end? It sounds a lot like a speaker phone. All right. I think that should work. Okay. I will uh, see you tomorrow. And there you have it. It sounds like a speakerphone on the other end, probably because speakerphone is the only option with this thing. And now for the burn test. This 0.4 inch 64 by 32 pixel display is protected by the outer layer of plastic, so we don't see any damage done to the actual inner screen. But the outer shell starts literally melting after about 11 seconds. It's a pretty hot mess of distorted plastic. I highly recommend not using a lighter on your cell phone. The thing gets lit. So I don't know if you've ever tried to break a Jolly Rancher in half, but the laws of physics have basically the same effect on this nub of a cell phone. There's not enough surface area to even grip. Even though it only weighs 13 grams, the little guy is as solid as a pebble. You know that little tiny pocket inside the bigger pocket of your jeans? I feel like this phone was literally made for that tiny pocket. On this channel, the phrase in-depth reviews is taken pretty literally. So let's dive a little deeper inside this minuscule device. With no visible screws, I knew the teardown would be pretty simple. I mean, how hard can it be to get inside an SD card sized phone? 
turns out it's the faceplate that comes off first, revealing a plastic outer layer and a rubberized keypad underneath it, just like we've seen in some of the older Nokia phones. I did forget the uh, essential step of turning off the phone first. There is no Lego connectors holding the screen in place. This is soldered directly onto the motherboard. I'll turn the phone off and then proceed to lift the motherboard out of the peanut-sized housing, being careful with the black and red wires dangling from the rest of the components. The little battery comes out with the whole contraption at the same time. The battery is a 190 milliamp hour little guy, just 10 milliamp hours smaller than the Apple Watch. Supposedly this is enough capacity to last three days on a single charge. On the back of the motherboard, we have the micro SIM card tray, the bottom microphone, and the micro USB charging port, along with the 2G antennas. Not bad for a phone you might accidentally swallow during a phone call. How long do you think you would actually last using this phone? Yeah, it can text and make phone calls, and the keyboard lights up, but could you actually use it for any amount of time? Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's plenty more in-depth reviews coming your way. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.